Greetings everyone, the good Sir Knight here. Today we're going to be doing a fun little review on something that does both blue, where is it? It's ruining my video. Blue and white. So today we will be reviewing the little Surefire Helmet Light. So this is the simple one that only latches onto a single piece. It has an IR light, and this one has white and blue, and even has little tabs to indicate which is which. Now what this helmet light does is, as far as I know this is mostly an airsoft channel, this isn't something you need for airsoft, but you can take this little mount, so let me grab this, I'll use this as a light, and go shh, -na 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 -na. this little mount here, it has two screws that mounted into the side like so. And then one screw at the bottom, you mount this onto the side of your Mitch helmet, like so. And once that's in there, you can just slide this onto the side. Now the thing is, here's a fun little fact. There's an IR light here, and with the IR lights on, you can't see it with your naked eye. But with uh, night vision goggles or infrared or anything, you can see it really well. Well the thing is, although it's invisible to the naked eye, it is still visible to digital cameras. It picks up just faintly on that IR, and you can definitely see if you take a television remote, point it at your camera phone or something, and you'll see it put out a little white flash. Well, this one, if we look really closely, I'll turn it on. Ever so faintly, you can see that little flash, huh? You wouldn't see it with your normal eye, but that little flash means the IR light is working. So, you've got these two these little switches here. This one turns the IR on and off on the bottom. And this top one, if you flip it up, you get white light. If you flip it down, you get blue light. And they even make red lights and stuff too. You can press this button while the light's on to adjust the power. So if you don't want people to see what you're up to or anything. Now what you do is you clamp this onto your helmet. There's a little release tab right here if you need to get it out. Slide this on in there and it clicks in nicely and you've got your light on the side of your helmet. So In the event That you're not doing anything super crazy Just sitting around you go. Hey, I need I've got my multi-tool and oh no my vision's terrible because it's super dark. I can't see what I'm doing You go womp you go, oh, Okay, so there's my tool and it's doing this Let's turn that down a bit. So button, click. So you turn that light down. So now I'm not blinding you and I can still see my tool. <laughs> Close that up. And okay, cool, multi-tool's taken care of. Oh, well, the camera really didn't like that. Pew, pew. And then switch it over to blue mode. And with blue, much like red, it gives you a far it really doesn't like that light. It gives you a far smaller light, but I can see what's in front of me and what I'm doing. And if you look over here, if you look over at the flag, you can see how bright it gets. This goes up to three, so you got a lot of blue going, lots of visibility. You can flip it over to white, and there's minimal, minimum, and high. So, minimum, it's slang for medium, if you've never heard it before. So, yeah, you can see, pretty cool. I can't actually see it. Well, you can see, but. Yeah, click. So, great for reading maps or small things and turning on and off and the IR acts as a nice little friend or foe indicator for your buddies. So, cool little helmet mount. This one's a bit of dated technology. They're um, not as expensive as they used to be. I actually picked this one up for about 20 bucks because the little light switch you hear for the white, it's fickle and occasionally will turn off on its own. It takes off with very little pressure, but you really don't need this light constantly on all the time. So it's a nice little addition. So you've probably seen these. It uses a CR, what is it, 134 battery, your primary battery for all surefire things. And it's bright, it's effective, and it's close to destructible. So, and the LED lights are super powerful. I think, was it the white one's like four, and the blue one's like, no, blue's two, white is three. There we go. And yeah. So really powerful, gives you a nice little thing to use on your helmet. So if you're walking around and you don't have, oh, I don't know. This is their shotgun here. We've got a shotgun light I put on there. So 
if we don't have our shotgun or our shotguns up over here and we need to just look down at something or just read a letter just go click and X ability so probably won't need for airsoft unless you're well, reading a map or calling out coordinates or something crazy but yeah it's a cool cool little piece I picked up and just thought it'd be nice to uh tell you guys about it so yeah battery fits in this little pocket here there's also a little valve back here you can turn that and it disables the lights so you won't turn them on on accident and you just spin it back so counterclockwise on clockwise for off so yeah cool little piece I enjoy it and if you look at a ton of super tactical pictures and all that stuff there's almost always someone who has a helmet light Although they'll probably never use it, so I thought that was cool. And now you guys know about it. Surefire. They make this, this is the older one just kind of clips in and can be removed. The newer one has like a little 360 swivel so you can rotate it down or anything to get a better preference on what you can see. But yeah, cool little piece you can add to your kit. Pretty nice. And yeah, that's all I got. So choose everyone. Stay chivalrous, and I will see you in brighter times.